Now, today's person in need, their situation looks very straightforward, like there's a very straightforward answer and very straightforward solution, but often it usually is not. And she says, I am married for 13 years and I have kids. My husband is a disrespectful person, like he can beat me in front of my children, Matusi ni zile zile, he abuses me. Uh, he does not want to work. He wants to just stay at home doing nothing. I am the one who is paying school fees for my children, food, clothing, every single thing. It is I who is providing for my family. If I try and ask for support, beg for support from him, he abuses me. Ananitusi ni shangae. Please. I need a sober advice because it is depressing and it is eating me slowly and slowly. I need his support, but he does not want to find something to do. How do we help this person out? You know, the most, the most simple solution is to leave this person because I am providing for my children. Money, money is not the factor here. All I need is, you know, I want us to raise this family together. I want us to be a family, but you refuse to contribute financially, emotionally, and on top of that, you're abusing me. And I am trying to hold this family together. I am trying to give my children a stable home. I am trying to provide. I am providing for this family, but all of this is being met by, with violence. The most easy solution, leave this man. But I do also understand that it's not easy. It's really not easy to leave a person, especially, you know, there's trauma bonds, there's fear that he may hunt you down. There are so many factors. But my advice for you is to put yourself first and realize that your children also don't deserve to be in this environment. They, they don't deserve it. So leave. Leave it. Leave him scared. You don't need his support. You need to be away from him because you've proven you can do this on your own. So stop trying to make him a version of him in your head. He, see him for who he is. He's an abusive man who's broke, who doesn't do anything for you. So I feel so sad. Oh. This, is, this is a sad one, honestly. Because the one thing that I cannot tolerate and I cannot allow for you to be okay with is abuse. This man is not only physically abusing you, he's also actually verbally abusing you and mentally and physically he's also taking you down because mm -hmm. look at your children looking at your husband beating you up these are children who absorb this and see this as what love is because if you're staying they believe that yeah this is how my mom sh she's shown love by my dad it is interpreted as a form of expressing love and then these children end up becoming abusers themselves mm. or end up in relationships of abuse because that is how they interpret love. Like you are doing such an injustice to these children. But as Surya said, it's difficult to leave any marriage. Mm. Any marriage at all. Forget this very horrible one that you're in. I empathize with you. I sympathize with you. And I think it's time for you to do something very important. Start gearing yourself up to leave gearing up okay i'm not saying leave tomorrow i'm saying start gearing yourself up to leave start speaking to people a therapist a church leader a, a, a someone who is going to help you come to terms with the fact that it's you need to leave and help you pace yourself up until the point you can leave you don't have to leave tomorrow you don't have to leave tonight if you could i hope you would if you're finding it difficult to leave, it's time for you to find someone to give you that pep talk mm. because, babe, it, it's, it doesn't make sense at all. The one thing I, I do not allow for you to accept is that you deserve this kind of life. You have to tell someone what to do as a human being mm. and a grown-up. Imagine telling someone, Aki, ye please go work. Please find a job. Please go... Mm -mm. Please provide for your family. Are they a child? No, they're an adult. Like, there are things you just cannot be okay with condoning. And I feel like you've broken yourself down to become so little that it's going to take you time for you to build yourself up again. So what I'm asking you to do is find these people to help you build yourself up. A therapist, a, a psychologist, psychiatrist, or ultimately a church leader who is not biased, right? Mm -hmm. 
someone who can help you, a marriage counselor who can help you figure yourself out and how to get out of this relationship. But honestly, the only resolve is you leaving this relationship, okay?